Welcome guys, this is A2W Games. I am one of your hosts, Avon for you, and this is Hamish Lamedo. Hello. Que pasa? Good. All good? Yeah. Listen, I want to start saying one of your hosts, and you're the other one, because I don't like the idea of me being a host and you being a co-host, because it's not really like that, is it? Okay. Because there's going to be days when I'm not here, you're going to have to do the show on your own, so... Going to have to happen at some yeah, point. Yeah, you're a host, okay. and I'm a host, right. there's no host, and there's no, like, player one and player two here. Okay. Both player one. Right. Okay, right. I just wanted to get that, you know, <laughs> out of the way. Okay, guys, for today's topics, topic number one. This is a long title for a topic. So, a patent filed by Sony in 2004, a good couple of months after the patent for PlayStation Now, could mean, along with the PlayStation 5, Sony could be releasing a streaming-only service to compete against Stadia. Boom! That's pretty That's good. That's a long title. Yeah, it is, a, it is a long title. Topic number two, games we are playing at the moment. Something we do regularly, but... Uh, in a bit more depth today. Yeah. And topic three, rage quitting. That's your topic, and that I actually think that's yeah. going to be really cool. <laughs> that's a good topic to talk about. Okay, guys, so this is A2W Games, a new social hub for all gamers. We are a community run by gamers that host gaming tournaments via website, a2wgames.com. We analyze the game data throughout the tournaments with the aim of providing you with all those important statistics to help improve your experience. So don't wait today. Register at a2wgames.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for news on what's going on and info on our up and coming tournaments also we're on Patreon so um, if you want to support what we do just go there and leave as little or as much as you like the patent filled by uh, by Sony this was because people were thinking okay PlayStation now the patent was in 2014 so um, it's because of the fact that the people thought that maybe this streaming service was something to do with PlayStation now because it is kind of a streaming yeah, service. Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. But it's not for that because it was it was patent or the play, the patent was placed a couple of months after they uh, did the original one for PlayStation now. Yeah. So this is something new. So rumors are that PlayStation are considering with together with the launch of PlayStation Five to launch a streaming service well, a, second, a full a, streaming service a second platform yeah something it might actually be a separate system right. the rumors are saying it could be an in, a separate system to the PS5 okay um, whatever but what I'm reading online is that they they plan to only release in Japan again very again, clever again, yeah. but very clever because what they're doing is unlike Stadia yeah they are going to release it slowly and see if this works and also they've had problems with their servers in the past so mm. Doing this slowly means they get to see how stable we, we their don't. systems are. I mean, and Nintendo yeah. did something similar on the Switch, where they stream games through the Switch, but again, just in Japan. Well, I, I mean, the, the people in Japan, we're, we're talking yeah, yeah. good, good, no, no, ten speech, million yeah, people. Yeah. I don't know how many people live in Japan, but obviously, there's going to be a, a hefty yeah. amount of people. But they've got streaming games through there already. Yeah, but they're testing the waters. Yeah, over there. I think this this is a a good idea because. Um, I think Sony are being clever but careful with the fact that they are not. It's not going to be a worldwide release. It's not going to be. No. By what we see here, it's not going to be released. It's not going to be anything to do with the PlayStation Five. It's something on the side. Yeah. Which is good. I, obviously, uh, I'm Just sure you. As well. Yeah, I'm sure you could do it through the PlayStation Five at some point, or whatever. But the fact is that they know that this is going to be a thing: digital gaming and playing online. Uh, forward now. Yeah, playing playing online has in always been connected and stuff. Yeah. Is the way the, of the future, uh, regrettably for us who like the physical <laughs> yeah. consoles. And um, I just hope there will always be a console. But you know, this could be very well be this next generation could be the very last generation I'm of a physical console. I mean, look at the latest Xbox, discless yeah. Xbox, Dis discless, discless. <laughs> I, I, I didn't <laughs> didn't quite hit the mark. No, no, no. They, you have to shove something into it. Well, it was the space was there for the. Yeah, they just drive. blocked it out. They just didn't blocked have it, it in out. there. It just, for me, it seems like um, the future is going to be very sad because mm. uh, it's going to be empty game rooms. Yeah. And have a game room with no shelves. Yeah. It's just going to be a team. So what happens if <laughs> way down the line the service shuts down? You literally just lose everything? You know what I mean? If you have everything, everything you've bought, you, you, I mean, Digitally. imagine a, a kid who's born now in 15 years' time. He becomes, you know, everything's everything's the, digital only. If he's bought a PS4 library, digital yeah. only. If you, the PS4 shuts down, obviously. Sony better not have any server issues at that point because because you it's literally gonna lose be, your library. Yeah, well, it's gonna hurt them more than it hurts anybody yeah. now because nowadays you, I lose connection to my to Sony servers and yeah. it's okay. Well, say I've the, got a lot of other I mean, say other PS, games and saying that the PS3 library will eventually say shut down. Whoever. Well, I don't know about that. I think. I think your library will always be there. Yeah. Well, they can't. They can't not because the thing is, 
these games were given to you for free. They yeah. belong to you. It's not free, but the ones you've But they're you yours, right? As well. uh, uh, that's the thing. I don't know. I've never read the disclaimer. If they ever, it's, if they ever decide to shut yeah. down the PS3 service, are the games yours? Well, Maybe yeah, they're not yours. No, no, no. But if the service ever shuts down, uh, the server shuts down. Yeah, but whatever's installed on your system, kind of like PT. Yeah, yeah. that uh, that game. The from, game that came yeah, on. The horror Kojima. game. Yeah, yeah. Um, whoever's got it on their system installed still. Yeah, it's that's there. It's yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. But you can't download it anymore. No. It's but it's yours So yeah. I think what will happen is You know Heaven forbid Your Playstation 3 Breaks down <laughs> Because Everything might just be Locked onto that one system Yeah And that That's Would it. be so scary I would never want to Switch it on No Yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I just don't want to Play my system The best thing is if, if they do announce this Then what you do is You buy another Playstation Just to leave it as Preferably it a brand new one In a box You download all the stuff On that one And put it away Which is why I have my PS3 with as many games on it as download as possible yeah, just to make sure just that to you make can sure always still play there, yeah. like I said in a previous uh, episode certain games you can play without being connected online yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know that but yeah because my game room hasn't got internet connection at the yeah. moment I've been able to play some PSN games yeah. which is very weird I thought you always needed I think you've got to connect to the internet every so often just yeah, to maybe show every you week still got or something. Yeah, yeah. but certain games definitely do not allow you to do that but so, some do so. which is what the Stadia is yeah. annoyingly telling you to do as well yeah. I like. I mean, I still think Stadia is. I mean, it's a Google-backed console. This yeah. is going to be. Well, it's not backed by Google. It's, it's a Google console. Then, yeah. Um, it's. I mean, they have a lot of money to put into marketing. Of this course. is going to sell. Oh yeah, it is. It's, it's again, definitely going to sell. Yeah. So I'm glad that Sony have something up their sleeves as well because you have to be competitive, and they're using their brains. And yeah. I, I think Sony are very clever. Very very clever. Also, the Switch Lite is coming soon, isn't it? Uh, should be out now. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen the I've yellow and green. Oh, I know, weird the, colours, the, though. Uh, well, again, it's Nintendo being Nintendo. Yeah. Okay, just jump in the gun here a bit. We have to make this huge announcement. What's that? It's the biggest announcement in Sony history. What's that? What, missing E3 again? No, not quite. The button. Oh, the cross button. It's not a cross button, it's an X, X button. X button, yes, I agree. <laughs> it's always totally been an X it's button. An X. It's an X button. <laughs> <laughs> but no, officially now Sony wants us to call it a cross button. It's an X button. So, um, yeah, let's just skip that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, topic number two, games we are playing at the moment. Hamish, why don't you start this one? Well, I got Borderlands 2 this week, which I'm obviously, you know, I'm a big fan of. Not so much you. Yeah. Well, I like, the. I mean, FPS, FPS games are fun. They're yeah. always fun. Yeah, and yeah. Borderlands... Uh, it's but you play Tales, Tales of Borderlands. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, uh, that's yeah, so, but that's some of the characters actually come out in this one. Yeah, I mean, I tell you what, it's just the fact that I like my FPS to be yeah. s- quite like proper, like uh, realistic, and right. this one more goes cartoony. With, yeah, I mean, I know they talk a lot well. about turds and stuff. So. Yeah, it's just a bit so random. A bit yeah, weird, yeah, yeah, it's a bit yeah. wild out there. But yeah, I, I do get why people like it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a, this one's a bit trickier with playing solo. I understand why they're pushing the multiplayer quite a bit now. Okay, because even on normal mode, it's a bit tricky. Is it uh, is there a single player campaign or oh, yeah, is it always a, a PvP or no no PV- no it's, it's single there's a massive single player story to okay, it. okay okay but the, I see why you can have the co-op play to it because okay. even when you get the enemies come to you they're like 15 20 enemies but do you get like normal you can actually play on a server with other people even you will play in the main campaign yeah, yeah you can have friends okay. join kind in kind of like that Dark Souls in a way where you can get actual people like just yeah, yeah just and you can ha- um, friends come in and help you okay that's cool. I'm also with um, Catherine, the PS3 classic. God, I love it, it so yeah. much. It's such a good remaster. Yeah, it's what I don't. I don't believe in remasters unless they offer a lot. And this one's this one's so amazing. Much. It's at full whack. You yeah. have to pay the full price for it. For well, a game. We, I got the special edition. Yeah, so you paid full whack yeah. plus extra. Oh yes, for a lovely little sheep yeah. with boxes. Oh yes. It and it fun, comes though. in a little cube it as well. It's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a, mainly, such a good game. Mainly because I had the special edition for the PS3 as well. But I mean, it's I mean, this this remaster is brilliant because the game already yeah. was really good. It's they've added a own, ton yeah. of extra yeah. footage, extra animations, yeah. extra footage. There's a new character. There's so many DLCs as well. There's extras. a lot. The story has an extra ending or one yeah. or two extra endings. I think it was just one. The thing is, we played it way back when it came on PS3. Yeah. So and we loved it then. So. Yeah. So I'm actually glad I didn't go back to it because I can't remember some of the cutscenes. So Makes I, it all new. Yeah. So exactly. even the cutscenes, I do remember kind of going, "Is this new? Is it not new?" Yeah, you can't tell. You yeah. Can't tell. So, so I'm, I'm quite always, happy with that. Yeah. I'm in the same place as you. I played it once, um, and I just never went back. And ne- not because I don't want to. Just yeah. It's just one of the things that. Yeah. And uh, you always think I'm going to go back and play some Catherine, but but then obviously we heard that the remaster was coming out, then you don't touch. The so we waited. Catherine. We waited. Yeah. Yeah. It was very good. It's very very good. 
So on a lighter note, I've also got Mario Maker 2. Mario Maker 2. Yeah, on the Switch. I've just bought that for Jack for his birthday for next next so, week. So yeah, well, a week birthday. and a half. Yeah. My son's actually got that as well. So he's quite into it. He's I actually know, enjoying I... the level making side of things. Is it easy to do though? It is. I mean, he's six and he's really into it. That's brilliant because I, mean, I need to buy a stylus for him. I've though. seen some levels that people have been making. I've Holy tried. Crap. I have tried some of them. <laughs> I have no idea how much time they put into them or how mad they are. The, this, but the, that, the level designers. What you're seeing there will work perfectly with our final topic later. Right. Because, <laughs> which is sort of why I mentioned it. <laughs> yes. But the level design on them are mental. Yeah, yeah. I've seen ones with like uh, these arms swinging round yeah. and you've got the time, and tons the, of them and you've got to the, time it The perfectly. timing for them is crazy. I tell you what though. The, how easy it is now for people to be able I know this is just a level it's yeah. just a level design but yeah. the fact that you can actually design your own level but that's the thing Nintendo so much fun. Nintendo have literally been giving you the building blocks for in, from like I'd say 90% of any Mario game okay. or most okay. of the Mario games so you've games. got everything practically there for you yeah. at your disposal all the 2D Mario games Yeah, that's amazing I'm actually I'm actually going to give this a go because I'm, I'm actually quite interested to see what we can uh, do that's the thing I, it was mainly for my son and I just got into it so um, yeah is uh is there a story to it as well? Or is it all just about making? I mean, it's just it's a Mario. It's a two D Mario just, game. Yeah, basically. But is there's, it? There's a hundred levels pre-built to anyway. Oh, okay. So there's so okay. it's a, it's a sort of a I mean. story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to. Be, I mean, there's there's actually gameplay as well. You yeah, don't yeah. just have to go and. No, build. no, no. Okay. And you can edit those levels as you. Uh, I haven't got to that stage yet, so I'm not quite sure. Break all the levels. Why not? I've just mainly gone online and see, tried other people's levels. To be fair. Okay. Yeah, but that, that's what you get it for. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. To make your own levels and try other people's. And then I've also got Astral Chain. Astral Chain, which you've said is really which good, is really really yeah. good. Yeah. Again, that's from the people that did uh, Bayonetta. Yeah. So uh, that's so just stylized. Hack and slash. It was yeah, so that's good. the thing. I mean, like I've mentioned to you before, that people are complaining and um, review bombing it because it's only on the Switch. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how good the game is. Is it very over sexualized? Because Bayonetta was was not was, so much. I mean, was that, actually that, got some, into trouble because yeah. of that. Yeah. Some of the designs you can tell where it's coming from. Yeah. But it's a JRPG, so. Yeah. You gotta be so careful with those things nowadays because over sexualizing but female characters now is a is a big big issue. Yeah, I mean they did that in Mortal Kombat yeah. where, where they changed the costumes yeah, because of it. Yeah, but in certain games, uh, Last of Us. Yeah. You got Ellie. Yeah. No. T-shirt, normal jeans. Yeah. yeah. The Tomb Raider. She's, they've yeah. definitely revamped uh, the boobs. Yeah, yeah. They're not pointy anymore, no. and they're much smaller. Yeah. So. So well, it's good that that they're they're making uh, updated, female, yeah. yeah. The 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 character and the emotional side of things is much more important now than the visual. Yeah, they've updated uh, it to yeah. na to nowadays. Yeah, I'm glad they've done that though, because the pointy titties. It's just, well, they were it was the polygons. The polygons of the day. Yeah, <laughs> they weren't working. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, you done with topic two? Yeah, thanks. So. Well, I've also put Catherine in mind because well, how we've got, can you not? <laughs> we got it at the same time, so to yeah. be fair. So um, yeah, I'll be playing Greedful. Uh, by spiders, uh, they they did Bound in Flame and Mars, and they they are a studio well known for creating games that could potentially have been amazing, but always lacking somewhere. Yeah. So, this so one, I gave it a chance, and I hadn't I'm heard it before, before you told me this. Oh, well, it's so good. What the what? game? I hadn't heard the game before. You, you haven't heard. No. Well, we know for a fact that it was not very popular because even no. the shops in town they yeah, got no. I think six copies in total. That's yeah, all they brought between them. Yeah. Yeah. So I was lucky to get a copy. Uh, I would have ordered it online regardless. I really wanted it. The way you build up your characters, like you have a, a little um, a gang of people that right. come around with you. It's not really called a gang, but but basically that you build up relationships with them. You do a little quests for them. Um, you level them up. So it's kind of a massive thing like that, but it plays a lot like like um, Dragon Age, okay, which is a very good RPG. So yeah, and I've never, never gone into that. No, he has. He has. It also has its own little quirks, and right. and and it's it's very difficult to explain because it's a game that does what a lot of people are doing in the sense of its RPGs. There's not many RPGs going out right now. No. Right. So so it's kind of filled a little bit of a gap in the market right okay. now. But it's it's got its own little. I would say like it's got a lot of character the but, game, and it's definitely. Definitely fun. I really enjoy it, and it's cool. the first time I've got into an RPG that I actually enjoy the story. Keep going. Yeah. Right. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to ending that one and just starting again with a different character. Because at the moment I'm playing with a mage. Have to try it when I get through all my. Games. I can lend it to you, man. But it's a, it's a really good game. Also, control. Now I've got a little problem with the control. With the controls. <laughs> <laughs> no, the controls are fine, but the game is, the frame rates are dipping a lot on my PlayStation. Really? So 
what happened was it was in my game room. Obviously, I've been playing in my game room. It's yeah. a garage. There's no internet. So what I've done, what I did was I just put did, it to one side. Did you not patch it? Or? That's the thing. I didn't patch it. So right. I put it to one side, and uh, I've just taken the PlayStation to my house for yeah. a couple of days because my wife's in the UK. So I've just actually patched it now. So I will get back into it and have more to say about it's it. But the initial, that, it? yeah, and the initial hour and a half was quite interesting okay the gameplay mechanics uh, I found it a bit it wasn't for me it wasn't working it was a bit complicated to start with you have like superpowers you have superpowers yeah and a gun that kind of morphs into other kind of weapons it's one gun but yeah the the story was a bit for me I mean I I will agree in it an hour so let's take everything with a picture yeah The Long Dark survival game been out on the PC for a while on Steam and I bought it for the PlayStation 4 but only because it was £5 on eBay. Okay. Didn't even know what the game was. <laughs> I just thought £5 on eBay. I'll Another one to add to my collection. Yeah, let's yeah. just buy it. I love it. It's really fun. I'm not going to get too into it but it's a survival game. Typical survival game like like any other really. Just uh, fun when you want to just chill and relax you know. Uncharted 2 Remaster trying to finish up the trophies for the plat. I don't have to say much no, about Uncharted. It's, 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 it's more Uncharted. <laughs> I love it. And I also just bought eFootball Pro Evolution 2019. I only bought it because... Pro? Oh, 2020, you mean? 2020, sorry, not 2019. I put 2019 on the on the, on the the notes for some reason. Because I walked in with you to get it. <laughs> yeah, 2020. So... And that is because... I bought it because Gibraltar was in it. <laughs> it's the first time Gibraltar has been in a in a football game. And... Uh, the I can tell you the stadium and everything looks so much better than well, FIFA. It's actually, it's actually got the local stadium or no, no, oh, no, well, international no. stadium. Right. I was yeah, going to say we have to be much bigger than, than <laughs> we are right now. But the stadiums look so much better than FIFA stadiums when you're actually really? playing a game. Yeah. Okay. The only thing about it is the gameplay is quite boring for me because right. for Pro Evolution you've got to learn how to use skills to be any good and to be and to make the game fun. Yeah. I just pass the ball and kick. I've never been to football games, so, so I want to know. I've got to really learn the skills. At the moment, it's not impressed me. I right. still enjoy FIFA 2019 more than I am enjoying 2020. Right. Of, uh, but it's mainly just because the jib team is in, is in it. Yeah, for now I bought it with it for that, but I haven't even used the jib okay. team yet. Okay. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, again, that's another one. I've just started playing. I am playing too many games at once, so at the moment I can't really give my in-depth but, review on anything. And that's the thing. It's we've got it's so a much. Lot. So, so much was coming September. out at the same time. Yeah. How much do we love September for game releases? It's September, it, October, December, best months. No. And March, and all for me, normally. yeah. And March, and that's when I suspect The Last of Us will be out. But that's for more on that. That's in for another time. Week. Yeah. In two weeks' time, we're gonna get some some more news on on that because they are doing a press um, event. Okay, rage quitting. Hey, Mish, I'm gonna pass this one over to you because you started it. So go for it. Well, I think we've all gone through some sort of rage quit. Like obviously, we've talked about uh, Mario Maker two earlier. Yes. And those levels yeah, yeah some of those levels like I said was a pain so I mean my form of rage quit is normally internal where I just kind of grip yeah it's all for the you controllers yeah yeah. yeah yeah I don't shout I don't turn but my controllers take the brunt of it yeah where oh to, wow okay yeah <laughs> where it's normally where the controllers start to creak and crack yes and it's not kind of throw it across the room but the controllers take it where, oh man you know when you get to that point I know I, I the thing is I don't generally get to that point but Every time my controller falls on the floor, all I see is fifty quid breaking into. <laughs> that's the thing. That's, and that's it's why. Expensive. That's, that's why I don't want to get to. Because the controller is the price of a game and yeah. more expensive in a way. I mean, the technology is amazing, so fair enough. But I mean, to, uh, on the other side, my brother used to do that when he used to rage quit. He properly rage quit, oh, okay. and the controller went flying. Oh man, that's bad. So I mean, we all know why rage quitting has become such a thing because obviously. Streamers, YouTubers, yeah. rage quit. People love watching and people that's lose the thing, control, they, and they will flip. You know, yeah. You you go on YouTube and you see some kind of a fight or something, and automatically you are you are your attention is right there because yeah. it's something you don't see every day. So rage quitting is fun for people to see because it's spontaneous sometimes. It's spontaneous yeah. and it's crazy, and people do crazy things when they're in that place. I just think I, I've I've I know I've raged before doing games especially during the earlier years of gaming yeah, where it was yeah. much harder to, to game you know anything on the Mega Drive frustrating games were really hard back then nowadays yeah. on the PS1 I remember the Crash Bandicoot yeah. tr- games when yeah. it was they just constantly die and that's, yeah, yeah, that's the thing especially Crash but yeah older games were much harder you know so I remember getting you, you get you, you feel rage you feel anger but but as you get older, I think you manage to control that much I better. I wouldn't say mellow down, but... No, you still feel it, but yeah. you just know how to handle Which it. Which is what I mean. I, I, yeah. I take it inside, but my controller... Yeah. I take it on the controller, mainly. But, you know, if... if uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not streaming anymore. I used to stream, but I, I just never raged quit anything. When I got, like, fed up with a game or whatever, we just 
push on to something else. Yeah. I can't let gaming make me angry because no, it's well, for me it's a way of relief. Worst worst case, I just turn it off and realize I haven't saved it yeah. sometimes. Well, you know when you go to the <laughs> toilet and you and you're dying to go to the toilet and you leave one hefty piece of oh, great, that thanks. comes out of you and you feel so relieved. Well, that's what gaming is after a day of work for me, man. <laughs> so you know what I mean. So 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 it's 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 crazy for me to think that gaming would do that to me because if if that's what that I mean if I was getting rage every time I game certain games I would just I wouldn't bother. Yeah, I wouldn't bother. I wouldn't know. You know I mean, what's the point? The bigger games are like your Dark Souls, your Sekiro's. Yeah. I don't play those because I know none of the thing. I'm just not gonna yeah, have a good time. That's yeah. I mean, you know? I've I've tried the Dark Souls games. They're not my style. I'll try Sekiro. Because it's more, I like the Japanese style, yeah, yeah. that sort of thing, but no way the Dark Souls. I tell you what, it looks brilliant, and I love yeah. Bloodborne, because Bloodborne, That's another I one think, I'm not is tried, the yeah. easiest one of the Dark Souls. Of oh, that style kind of, of game, game. Yeah, yeah. Demon's Souls, Dark Souls. Bloodborne is like the best one to, I think, the entry-level one, right. where you can go in and you can actually have fun get and understand it, yeah, yeah. what it's about and how it kind of works, but and it's much easier to And go. not get frustrated of yeah. how many oh, times no, you're you will die. It. I mean, I, Yeah, I, you will die, yeah, of course. I got so good... At the first fifteen minutes of that game, that I was, I, I could have, I could have shown you and not. I mean, it was. You just have to repeat. It's rinse and repeat. Yeah, I mean the same so, as the queue. I got into the queue enough. Yeah. That, oh, you know how to do certain yeah. parts of yeah, the level exactly. already. Yeah. You know where to go first, where to go after, where to get the potion, where to save. And I mean, you will die, also, like you say. Yeah, yeah. But not enough to get to that point yeah. that it'll frustrate you. But Bloodborne was very impressive. I mean, it is named as one of the best uh, yeah. on PlayStation Four, so it's a very good game. But yeah, I, I just think that that young audiences are no, more prone no. more prone to yeah. rage quitting I mean, my, because my they're son, not they're my not son, there yet, you My know? son will rage quit at times because he don't understand yeah. what's going on. Exactly. Oh, my son gets frustrated as well, and I tell him, look, if you're getting frustrated, just stop playing and play yeah. something else, or just take a break. That's what I, I because try. Because to... if it's not fun, it's it's not worth doing. I, I mean, one of my Joy Cons, my left one, which was already sort of damaged, yeah. went flying one <laughs> a couple that, of days see, ago. See, I've never broken a console, and um, I had my uh, my nephew, my nephew. Yeah. Right. I, I can say it in Spanish. I don't know how you say it. <laughs> I think it's nephew. So uh, he asked me to fix his PlayStation uh, like a couple of months back, right. and um, I tell him what's wrong with it. He says, "Oh, uncle, it doesn't it doesn't switch on." I'm like, okay, okay, well, I'll check it out. Might be the hard drive, maybe, maybe it's a corrupted hard drive. So, well, still PS4. reading something, a PS4, yeah. Right. So I opened it and there were bits of plastic all over the place. <laughs> and I just, I said, look, I'm not fixing this. I put it back together. I gave it back to him. And said, look, what have you done with it? He says, no, no, I haven't done anything. It just didn't work. Wait, did I it? said, I said, you've banged this, haven't you? You've hit it. And then he looked at me and said, yes, I have. I said, well, you I'm sorry, but you can't do anything. You can't fix this. You probably broke the motherboard. So, um, so it's rage quit. Youngsters are going He's to actually have a problem. smashed the machine. He he and he yeah, he said he actually hit it. He hit it on the top. He punched it. Right. Kids. You yeah, know what the I mean? Kids being kids. Yeah. So yeah, I understand. Frustration is sometimes unavoidable. However, knowing how to not get to that point takes a lot of practice. Of course. And and unfortunately for us, it's mostly because of the age. You get older. Oh, well, we've grown up with it. Yeah. You get older. You've seen it. You've done it. You know. You know when you're going to get frustrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming. You can feel it coming and 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 building up. So you. Can switch over to something a bit more mellow, yeah. you know. It's probably why they put difficulties in. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. As good a game as it is, because yeah. I really like the yeah, remi- yeah. Rema- remake or remaster. I really love it, but I cannot spend more than twenty minutes on that game before oh, no, I no. start. I say I've, this is I've, enough. I've got to move on to something yeah. else. So it's good. I can play bits and bits, and then leave it, and then come back and yeah, play yeah, another yeah. bit, and that's fine. That's, that's the that, type of game it is. That's what I've been doing with it. Since yeah, it since it's a release. challenge. Yeah, it's a challenge, and it's a fun challenge, but in short bursts. Yeah, yeah. So that's it for today, guys. Remember, register on our website, hwgames.com, and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you have any feedback, comments, or just want to get in touch with us, email us on talkshow at hwgames.com. Just before we finish here, I'm going to say we're going to be running a competition here soon. Uh, We haven't quite got the details yet, but uh, there's going to be a prize. So people will want to be listening. Listen to a podcast. You may win yourself something nice for gaming, obviously. So uh, that's it, guys. Thank you. Until next time. Bye.